Morning, Max. Morning. But why? It's a surprise. Oh, I love surprises. But you're abducting me. No, <laughs> something else. I'm going to kick this bank into the 21st century. Morning, Julie. Morning, Lennon. It doesn't need to kick anywhere. Yes, it does, James. We have to become a major player. Otherwise, we're going to end up on the bench. Thank you. I want Shane to be a presence in the market. Damn it. Morning, Leonard. I want us to be lead managers, not co-lead managers. I want us to achieve... All right, Lee. We've heard your position on all this before. Good morning, Leonard. We are meeting here today to address the matter of who we are going to engage to run our new derivative products division. That's what I'm talking about. We need a live wire. We're creating new markets. It's a whole different realm of banking. We need someone with experience of the new issue market, someone who can operate creatively. Well, I'm all for bringing in some new blood and cutting out some of the dead wood we've been carrying. What exactly are you driving at, Lee? Well, for a start, I'm talking about the end of the Max Lubin dynasty. The trading floor is my province, not yours. That doesn't mean I don't have a perspective on it, Leonard. All right. Um, we agreed to have a meeting about the annual report. I need to advise the copywriters. Kitchen uh, and a uh, dining room. Very, very big living room. <clears throat> Bedroom. <laughs> Bathroom. Uh, and it's uh, 15 minutes from the city. Declan, how? No it's... character, no style, no outlook. Home from home, really. <laughs> I love it. And it's very reasonable, 150 grand. What I'm talking about is a look. We need to break with convention. I'm sure we all have a point of view in this, Lee, so perhaps you and Liz would like to consider the presentation. Right. But this year, I'd like to see something more than columns of figures in the chairman's report. Oh, no, really? Really. It's another way we can distinguish ourselves from the rest of the market. The banking fraternity all present themselves in the same manner. And the keynote is mediocrity. We should be ahead of the others in design, concept, style. We're a product, damn it. You could give us a hell of an edge with this new division. What have you got in mind, Lee? Some fresh ideas, Leonard. Well, perhaps you'd like to acquaint Liz with them. I do have a lot to do here. Your place or mine? Deal. Listen, why don't you call him now and make an offer? Yeah? You don't want to lose it. Yeah, you're right. I'll do that. And Zeppelin? Thank you. Morning, Jacqueline. Uh, morning, Wendy. Um, morning, Squirt. Morning, Jacqueline. How's your market? Yeah, good. Looking up. Declan, I have a solution to your research problem. Do you want to hear it? Brilliant. Frank, the Wi-Fi 118. Toby, it's Jimmy. I'm selling the whole position 102. Look, I know it's a great price, and you know why. Sent him in? Max? I don't know. SEC. I bet he's SEC. The Securities and Exchange Commission, that's America, Max. They have no authority here. Damn. Max, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Yeah. For months they've been talking about a shakedown. And this guy's wandering around the floor. He's obviously from some regulatory outfit. Obviously. Look at the way he dresses. Look at the way he behaves. Don't like it. Don't 
looked like it at all. You look pleased? Well, the market's going my way. I am pleased. Something I ought to know about? No, mate, by your standards, small change. Preoccupied. What's that? Ah. My godson, his 11th birthday is coming up, right? Now, I couldn't find anything to get for him. Then, I passed a pet shop. And I found this. Hudson, it's most unusual. Arcacatina marginata. What? Arcacatina marginata. That's its Latin name. Can I look at it? Yeah, sure. Be my guest. Uh, just be a little careful with it. It uh, costs 45 quid. Yes, but you get an awful lot of snail for your money. Shane, dealers. Price in the new Italian Deutsche Mark. Want me to handle it? That's okay, thanks. It's just a simple price, you mean? You think I've got a poacher trade? Of course not, but I can handle it. Thank you, Dakin. Toby. This new division straddles both our departments, Lee. It involves trading operations, equities, and whatever business this new department itself generates. So we better learn to live together, at least on this issue. The real issue is who heads up the department. That's a matter for the board and for Farrell. I thought I might put forward a few names. Oh, did you? If you intend to try and have this new department in your empire from day one, you can discount the prospect of any cooperation from me. You've already put certain members of my trading team under threat this morning. Don't expect me to sit still while you try and annex an entire department. You understand me? Leave me alone! I haven't had a drink in four days. I'm doing my best, all right? I know you are, but you're in an awful state. You need some kind of help. I think you should go to some AA meetings. What are you saying? Alcoholics Anonymous. It's an association that assists alcoholics. <laughs> you must be bloody joking! You have to have help. I'm not going there. Having people to talk to with the same problem is help. You can go twice a day if you need to. It's support. In a month or two, you'll have the confidence not even to look at a drink. Believe me, this isn't something you can tackle on your own. Oh, yeah? And how do you know all this? Yes, well, wonderful. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye-bye. Max, what's that? It's wonderful, isn't it? A cockatina marginata. It's a bloody big snail, that's what it is. Fartson's got some. It's a birthday present. Oh. Max, back in that chair some night. Right. Raquel, what can I do for you? It sounds convoluted, tell me more. So why are you calling me? Very inventive. I'll get back to you. Why is it so interesting, you? Every bucket shop in town has a new products division. Well, first of all, Sylvia, we ain't no bucket shop. What we're developing here is a major new derivative products division. New ideas, new concepts, new markets. It's really very exciting. I'm talking about inventing the future. 
You always had such modest aspirations, Lee. Have you ever thought about political life? Really isn't an oversell, Sylvia. New department in an elite operation. You create the ideas, we make them happen. I don't know. Brennan's have got an interesting operation in the Philippines. They want me to run with it for a year. The Pacific Basin is where it's all going to be happening, Lee. Well, if you want to get into third world debt management, Shane has a pretty successful department. It doesn't involve debt restructuring. It involves major Japanese investment. Sylvia, bring it to us. We'll develop it together. Sounds right up our alley. Hell, give us six months. The Pacific Basin will still be there. Would I have total autonomy, Lee? Absolutely. Of course, you'll be answerable in performance terms to management level, but otherwise... Have your people put some proposals together and send them over to me this afternoon. I'll think about it. Okay. Okay, Kathleen. Can you do better by a couple of pips? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Kathleen, try and improve the price and get back to me. I can't do better than 96. Okay, see so what you can do. What's happening to me? Where's Jimmy? Uh, every lunch date, apparently. Any idea why he's dealing with Toby Tet? Other than that they're all friends? Nope. trading at? Never mind why, I'm just curious, that's all. Okay, thanks. Jimmy. Guess what? Oh. I'm sorry, um, I got it. They accepted the offer. Oh, fantastic. Congratulations. I take possession in four weeks, and in the meantime, they're gonna give me the keys so that I can look the place over. Well, that's wonderful. I'll have to try and think of a housewarming present for you. I tell you what, let's try and get away early tonight. There's something else I'd like to show you. Yeah? What? It's a surprise. No, Declan, I can't stand two surprises in one day. Uh, this is a special surprise. No, come on, tell me, what is it? You'll have to wait. I want to see the voice records on Jimmy's position. Oh, really? Why? I need them. That's all. Well, I make a requisition. Do you have to? I'm a senior trader on the secondary desk. Jimmy, it's my responsibility. I'm authorized to hear his tapes, OK? OK. Tell you what? About the surprise. Oh, there. Yes. Getting to you, is it? Declan, actually, you're driving me crazy. Good. Uh, stay there. Close your eyes. Why? Close your eyes. Declan. Right, you can open them. Da, 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 da. My car. Oh, I had a gift wrap for you. Oh, Declan, my car. Oh, you 
had it mended. Note the smooth operation of the driver's door. Oh. And the shiny new ignition key. Won't be needing your pliers anymore. Don't worry, you won't be disqualified forever. Just a few more months. Yes, but I want to drive it now, Declan. Yes, well, actually, I have thought about that. What? Move over. Well, um, in a nutshell, uh, booze has cost me everything. Go on, Mark. I, I lost my marriage, my business, uh, and most of my friends. Uh, but the most terrifying thing is, uh, I didn't see any of it happening. How did you come to terms with this problem, Mark? Well, um, my daughter was in a good school, and I couldn't afford to keep her there. That hurt more than anything. It, it devastated me to let her down. And how is your relationship with your daughter now? Wonderful. She's very supportive of me. This is unbelievably boring. <laughs> in this experience. Yes, I know. I have in fact, in many ways. This is my second meeting. Better than it ever was. I'm not I getting into it. There is something possible. My first. Going to the bottom of the barrel. Go as low as you can. You appreciate yourself and those around you as you never did before. Want to go somewhere and have a drink? I thought you'd enjoy it. Oh, what a clever idea of yours. Well, you both needed the exercise. Oh, it's running like a dream. I don't suppose that I could... No. You don't even know what I was going to say? No, you can't drive back to town. Well, who's going to know? Oh, Declan, please. No. your husband to a girl he met on the underground. 19-year-old copy typist. She got on at Shepherd's Bush. He got on at Notting Hill Gate. Reckon it was all over for me by Oxford Circus. <laughs> Stay off the central line, eh? Maybe he did you a favor. Marriage is just one long compromise. Maybe. Anyhow. Now I share a two-bedroom apartment with a canary and an 800 pound a month mortgage. Isn't life wonderful? Don't complain. The most significant object in my life is a microwave oven. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go somewhere else. This is where you keep it, huh? Yep. 
but it won't do you any good because you don't have one of these. How about I take it once around the block? Nope. Anyway, it's nearly 10 o'clock. It's past your bedtime. The last relationship I was in, I had to jump on a jet plane every time I wanted to see the guy. I clocked up so many miles, I got a free ticket around the world. <laughs> and no one to go with. Pretty funny, eh? You know, you waste your time with that stuff. This is what does it. Yeah, Toby, I'm selling the whole position 102. Uh-huh, I get it. And in 10 days' time, I sell it all back at the same points under, just like last month. Thanks, Toby. Why don't you put it in sign writing? Look, I've had a bad month. I want to protect my bonus. This is parking points, Jimmy. It's about practice. Shove it, Toby. No one's gonna know. Well, I'm not making a habit of it. Okay, okay. I appreciate it, Toby. Look, I've had a bad month. I want to protect my bonus. This is parking points, Jimmy. It's about practice. Shove it, Toby. No one's gonna know. Jimmy. Hello? Hi. It's me. Um, I just wanted to say goodnight. Again. Goodnight. Again. <laughs> Where are you? I'm in a petrol station. Are you going home? I thought I might, yeah. <laughs> uh... I loved my drive. Yep. Will you soon be back on the road again? Yes. I will. Declan? Uh-huh. Oh, um... I'll see you in the morning, I guess. I guess so. I really think she's an excellent candidate. She has a fantastic background in both corporate finance and bond trading. She knows the Far East inside out. She has a mind like a whip. Sylvia is impeccably qualified. Impeccably qualified she may be, but is she right? All right, Leonard. I'd like to hear Lee out on this. Thank you. I understood the appointment of a manager to this department was a board decision taken under your guidance. It is. But I'm not against having suggestions from Lee or, for that matter, from anybody else. That is all I'm doing. All right? Why am I so paranoid? Wolf has been after my hide ever since I set foot in the place. Maybe it's part of his xenophobia. I think he thinks I'm Chinese. And he hates the third world debt market. Come on, do you honestly think he's put someone here to spy on you? This is the second day this guy has been hanging around. But there's always people hanging around. And yesterday, all this strange equipment started arriving. I think they're gonna bug the phone. Max, phone conversations are already taped. Well, why should they bother to bug a phone? We're gonna need more oranges. Talbot. Right. Yeah, I'll tell him. Bye. 
Tell me what. Lee Wolf wants to see you. There you are. What did I tell you? It's that Nigerian swap that turned sour on me. We'll find out about it. Max, why don't you just go upstairs and see what Lee wants? Right. Yeah, between October the 1st, 96. It's here to 101, 38. Well, stick with it. Yeah, bye-bye. Heavy night? Heavier than you know. Come in. Max, thanks for coming up. Hello, Lee. Hello, Liz. Max, I'd like to introduce you to Carol Kublik. Carol, Max Lubin. How do you do? Fine. Carol is helping us with the design and development of this year's annual report. I see. He'd like to take your picture. What? Good, good. A little this way, Max. Great. Just the lamp on over here. That's better. A little to the left. That's it. Good, good. All right. Good. Now hand me the poly back, will you? Carol thinks a contemporary look is important. Feels I provide it. Well, he's right. You do. Okay, Max, just hold that. I want to check every trade he's made in the past eight weeks. I want to see every ticket, every deal. Right. Jimmy in some kind of dispute? I'll worry about that. Uh-huh. And Mary, I don't want anyone to know I'm looking at this stuff. Right. Lee, I've given very close thought to Sylvia Ruteng. We've all agreed that she's got an impressive record, and she might be perfectly qualified to run derivatives. But Leonard has put forward an interesting proposal, and it's something I think we should listen to. Leonard has? Now, wait a minute. I've got Sylvia sitting in my office. We've pitched an offer. We're all but committed to her. No commitment has been made by me. And you are certainly not empowered to make one. Yes. Yes, please. I know that you'll agree that Leonard's candidate has got unparalleled qualifications. And I know that they will be acceptable to the board. Really? Hello, James. Wendy, do come in. Don't expect me to roll over and play dead for this one, Leonard. I realize it's short notice, and I know it's a kind of off-the-wall idea, but you'd be running your own department, and I'd have an ally where I most need one. But it's a long time since I've worked in the creative end of the market, I Leonard. I can't think of anyone more ably suited. You know that, I know it, and Farrell knows it. And you think Wolf is going to sanction my running this department? It'd be hard for him to raise too much opposition without declaring a nasty bias. Who's gonna run the floor? I don't know yet. I haven't thought about it. So I misread the situation. Sylvia, a little bit of a hitch. A hitch? These things happen. They have. Just a matter of whispering in a few ears. I'll have this sorted out by tonight. Seems like you were throwing a curve ball, Lee. Nothing I can't handle. Be sure to handle it in the framework we discussed. Oh, absolutely. No question about it. I'll phone you before the market's open. 
No, there's, there is no point in you trying to guess it. You'll never get it. No. Okay, bye-bye. Excuse me. That's magnificent. Do you mind? <laughs> Not at all. How's that? Yeah, can you lift it up a little bit high for me? Sure. A little bit. That's it. Good. To the right. Yeah. Is it yours? No, company mascot. I just look after it. What's up? This. What's this? Well, you could listen to it, or I could give you a synopsis. Sorry, I'm not with you. It's your conversation with Toby. It's all about off-market trading, buybacks, faking your position. You called up the voice records. And I've checked your whole book going back eight weeks. You've been cooking your position, Jimmy. Sir? So I can't let this one go. You've been asleep all day? Why? No, I'm asking you. Aren't you supposed to have been at work? <sighs> well, actually, I... I didn't tell you. I was fired a month ago. Oh. I've been looking for something else, but... Time just evaporates. Day becomes the night. The week becomes the weekend. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you mind my being here? It's just... I didn't expect it, that's all. I guess I really fell out. Look... I don't know if I can cope with all this. This drug business. It's not my thing, you know? I've got my own problems. I know. <laughs> it really wasn't my thing either. Look, I think you need something to eat. I make us something. Oh, oh geez, no wonder I feel so terrible. Sirka, I have to. Would you mind? No, go on. But I'd rather you use the bath. Yeah. I'm... It's really all right. I understand. Anyway, I made some calls. Patrick O'Halloran told me that some of his First Division traders are frightened of dealing with him. 
Sylvia is brilliant, but totally unscrupulous. Sounds delightful. Just what you needed upstairs. <laughs> Do I look okay? Hmm? I'm afraid I really have to leave. Oh, yes, look, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I'm preoccupied with all this nonsense. It isn't nonsense. It's just... I'd like to stay. Yes. I'd like that, too. I hate this duplicity. I've never done this. I should say something to Rye, but talking to him puts a different complexion on everything. You know what I want. Yeah, I know. Listen, Steph. I was wondering if I could start a week earlier. Oh? Why is that, Jim? It would be more convenient, that's all. Well, I'll talk to Lowell. Why do you have to talk to Lowell? You're half the company. It's a new operation, Jimmy. Lowell and I are partners. I'd have to ask him. Yeah, but he was so anxious about having me on board and everything. He obviously recognised his talent. It wasn't that. Lowell knows you have no allegiance to anyone, and he finds that interesting. Yeah. Well, it'd be good if I could start Monday. Well, I'll see what I can do. Our power's not connected, remember? And I wanted to show you what I'm going to do with the place. Oh, tell me anyway. I can imagine it. OK. You see, what I'm thinking is that this it doesn't necessarily have to be the bedroom. It could be the living room. Mm -hmm. Because the living room would make a much better bedroom if you think about it. Right. And um, you know how much I love to sleep. So then I could have two rooms that I could sort of sleep and uh, live in. Because it seems such a waste to have a room that you only use at night. Perhaps we could hibernate together. Yes. Perhaps we could. spring because I have this deal on cooking. <laughs> I don't care how well qualified Sylvia is. I expect to put forward my own appointee to run the floor. Only yesterday you were holding forth about the democratic manner in which we should appoint department heads. Well, that process has been applied in this case. It's tantamount to having Wolf running the dealing room himself. Leonard, it was you who embarked on the strategy of placing Wendy in charge of derivatives. I have to move quickly and impartially in the appointment of someone of equal calibre to run the trading floor. Equal calibre? You know better than anyone that I carry no brief for Lee. But I cannot afford a power vacuum on the trading floor. <laughs> What's going on? I'm moving upstairs to invent new markets. What? What? I mean, who's going to run the floor? Uh, are you sure this is what you want to do? No. But it's what I'm going to do. Maybe it is what I want to do. Who knows what I want to do? <laughs> It's all very sudden. It's a coup, Declan. They're not usually relaxed affairs. Who's replacing you? You'll find out. Don't worry, I shan't be far away. And well, what do I do about Jimmy? You just have to get someone else to fire him. I didn't necessarily want him fired. Look, 
He's been falsifying his position for eight weeks. He set up a scam with Toby Tetton to secure his bonus. His whole conduct's riddled with malpractice. Can him. I got half of what I wanted. If only I'd been astute enough to consider every angle. I got too involved in my own strategy. Well, we should have expected some retaliatory move from Wolf. Well, anyhow. Good morning, Leonard. Good morning, Lee. Good morning, Leonard. Hello, Sylvia. This is my PA, Gail Marnie. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. Lee? Good morning, Gail. Excuse me. I thought it would be as well if Sylvia got started right away. I've got a couple of things to take care of, and then I'll take Sylvia down to the floor. And no one's turned it in yet. Right. Okay, you have my office number, yeah? Great. Thanks very much. What's up? I left a snail in a cab last night. God, I can't believe I did that. Oh. Well, get another one. I can't. That was the last one. I suppose I could always give him this. Terrific. I just don't understand you, Jimmy. You've got a decent position in a prestige operation, and yet you engage in a shabby deceit to falsify your numbers for a few bonus points. Leonard, could you get to the bottom line? I'm not 10 years old. The bottom line, Jimmy, is you're out of here. I won't make anything of it, although what we're talking about here is fraud. Leonard, can we talk about this? If you don't mind, I am talking about this, Declan. Jimmy, it's best you leave now. Oh, really? Let's talk about compensation. Sure, if you'd like to talk about a malpractice suit. Sorry it came to this, Jimmy. Don't worry about it. I was leaving anyway. I'm gonna join Stephanie Keyes and Lowell Heitner in a new outfit. I've got my own position. A lot better than this place. Good luck. Come in. Hi, Wendy. Hello, Lee. I just wanted to welcome you upstairs. Well, thank you, Lee. I hope I shall be effective. Oh, I'm sure you will be. Nice picture. Yes. Good. Now lift your head just a bit. Right, well, the thing is, Steph, I was wondering if I could start even a bit sooner than that. Sort of like now. Yes, well, there have been a few changes, Jimmy. I was about to call you. I'm leaving. What? Why? When? Lowell and I had a terrible row about procedures. And just this morning, I was offered something terrific over at Morgan Stanley. So, I'm off. <laughs> but, but, but what about me? Well, I really don't know, Jimmy. But let's get together and discuss it soonish. All right? All right, but. Steph? Steph? Piss off! Paul. Paul? Paul! Jimmy Destry, remember me? Oh, yes. Listen, mate, I need a favor. Listen, Yolanda, you need help with this problem. You can stay with me for two, three weeks. I'll take care of you. Your life is falling apart. I don't know. You need help. I'm trying to help you. And the beauty of it is it all happens under hypnosis. You don't feel a thing. Mr. Talbot? Yeah? You're a snail, Governor. Ah! Oh. Oh. 
Okay, okay good. Now, come on, let's go. Of course, if you don't like the idea of hypnotherapy, you can always try a nicotine substitute. Nicotine substitute? In Szechuan province, they use a root called Yajang Li Tang. You take it as a suppository. Come on, Charles. Have you cleaned your teeth? Mm. Ah, you can be famous. I hate being photographed. Sure you do. Yeah, that's it. Come on, Marilyn. Mm. All right, good. Let's settle down. All right, face it this way. Uh, good. Okay. This way, come on. Smile. I said smile. If I could have your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Sylvia Routang. Good morning. Good morning. Sylvia's taking over as chief trader. Thank you. 